Hello guys, Keep on TV here, back for yet another match preview. Before we get into this match preview, let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this match preview. So, let's get straight into it. We've got Brentford this Tuesday, 7 o'clock kickoff. Hopefully the game is on Sky Sports. It should be because I believe this is the only game being played on a Tuesday. All the others are being played tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to be getting onto the opposition team. Of course, Brentford are having an unbelievable season. They missed out on promotion last season, losing the playoff final to Fulham 2-1. And they're looking to um, make amends for that and get promotion this season. They're currently sitting third in the league, but they are seven points behind second place Watford. A massive gap has opened up between themselves and the top two. I remember when Brentford was in the top two, you know, comfortably. Uh, but, you know, they fell apart. Um, the last five games, they've only won one out of the last five games. They've, drew, they've drawn the last three games. They got a 1 1 draw against Huddersfield, yes, against Huddersfield yesterday, sorry. And of course, we beat them at the start of the season in the reverse fixture 1 0 with Jeremy Bella scoring the header. Getting on to Blues, of course, we had that unbelievable victory against Swansea City. And ironically, Swansea City were third when we played them on Friday night, Brentford. I don't know if they're going to stay third, but, you know, um, yeah. I would start the same team. Now, I'm not too sure if Bella is going to be playing or is he going to be starting Halovic or Seddon? Um, Halovic and Seddon, sorry. Or is he going to start Bella? Is Ivan Sanchez going to have a chance? Is Bella going to have a chance? But I think we should stick with the same lineup because I thought that performance against Swansea was just amazing. So, near leverage and goal. Back three, Harley Dean, Roberts, Pedersen. Left wing back, Steve Seddon. Right wing back, Colin. Ivan Sonjic and Gary Garner in the middle. Um, Halovic and then Halovic playing in that cam roll and then Lukas Zukovic and Jonathan Lecko. So a 3-4, three, 3-4-1-2 four, three, four, formation. I think I think we can definitely cause Brentford problems as well. We've beaten them before this season, so why can't we do it again? And of course, I think this is going to be a game where we can definitely get something from it. I don't think we'll win the game, even though we have beaten Reading and beaten Swansea. I think it will be a draw, a 2-2 draw. Of course, Ivan Tony's. Uh, I think he, I think he's got more goals than us, you know, or is, or is it joint now? I don't know. But he's going to be an enormous threat for us. Harley Dean and Mark Roberts have to be up for it. Um, Brentford are definitely going to be creating chances. It all depends if we can stop them from scoring. If we If we get a winner... If we somehow win this game, I think that's just guaranteed survival, to be honest. Because if we're beating the likes of Swansea, Reading and Brentford, then, you know, there's no way we're getting relegated. But yeah, I would stick with the same lineup as I said. Leave it in the comments down below. Do you agree with that? Would you start... Like, I would probably leave better on the bench, you know, because we, play, we outplayed a team that's fighting for promotion. That is really impressive. Especially with the situation we find ourselves in. Um, I know Hogan got the winner against Swansea as well, but I would personally put him on the bench. I think Jonathan Lecco deserves to start against Brentford. And um, yeah, we've got a good record against Brentford as well. I mean, they didn't beat us last season. Um, yeah, we beat, them, we beat them the last time we played them away from home as well. At the start of last season. Ow. So yeah... Um, We've got a good record against Brentford. And I do fancy us, like I said, to get something from this game. Of course, the likes of Maxine Collin and Harley Dean are going to be coming up against their former club. Um, Josh McEachern as well, but he's he's left. I think he's left, isn't he? So I'm going to go with a 2-2 go draw. I think it'll be a goal. I think it'll be a good game with loads of goals in it. And I think Blues will come away with a much-needed point. Anyway, and keep on TV, make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep right on. See you later.